Hello, welcome to DJ Nezo's channel. I am DJ Nezo. Third video here, uh, another unboxing. Another more of I'm going to be talking and spinning around in my chair like this for you guys, just for giggles and for my own pleasure because I love RC cars. Self proclaimed. Anyways, today, or I mean right now, the Volkswagen Beetle Tamiya M06 chassis, rear engine, rear wheel drive. Do you think it's possible to change up the front end a little bit for some extra steering and maybe some driftability? We shall see. But first, we must complete this unboxing process. Now the M06, give you a little picture here. This is a little upside down, but we'll roll with it. I bought the bearing kit, which is for the M05, which the hobby shop owner at Galaxy Hobbies, Derry, hooked me up with bearing set which shows it right here which is I'll swing you guys around the right way there awesome we can see that so at least everything will run a little smoother straight off had to do it um so that's what it looks like it's a pretty cool chassis a friend of mine has the MO6R which is totally colored and sweet looking and it's very rare and it's pretty much the same thing as this but it is really really nice to look at um and yeah, let's, uh, you know what, let's just get to the unboxing here. Put you guys down over here. Hopefully you can still see. And uh, cut it open. Yeah. And rip it, but don't break the box because I like original boxes. I don't like to wreck my boxes. There's a collection somewhere over there to my left. <laughs> Way. And I'm not going to take the lid off until I get the camera back into my hand because I don't want to ruin it for anyone else or myself. Really? Okay, let's do it. Off comes the top. Ooh. Hey, look how sparkly that foam is in the light. <laughs> I see a bunch of chrome. That looks, that's going to look great. What I want to do with this bug particularly, this old school beetle and I've seen a couple people in my strictly sideways group strictly sideways those guys those guys are awesome a couple of them have done some pretty cool looking drifter bugs slash slammed bugs pretty cool look at the body eh that's something else I love it the Tamiya's attention to detail is so good they've always been so good they they never really mess around when it comes to this stuff so good I have a bit of a Tamiya nut lately. Never used to take them so seriously, but you get older and you learn to appreciate the quality. Look at that. That is great. What my plan is for this is to paint it white. I know the box is blue. Whatever. I want to paint it white. Tamiya PS1 white. Tamiya color. Great stuff. Love it. Easy to work with. PS1 white and put a red stripe and a blue stripe and a number five and a number three and if you know what i'm talking about it's a herbie it's a love bug that's what i want to do childhood hero self-confessed good fun the original love bug not the one with lindsay lohan because they kind of went all nuts with that one <laughs> anyways here we go some rear tires or just tires perhaps not sure why they put them in separate bags. Maybe that's a distinction. The rams. Oh, look at the rims. Those are so good looking. That'll work perfect. Parts trees galore. And that's fine. Look at all that. Their attention to detail is great. And I don't know about anybody else. Whenever I cut these pieces off the trees, I always like to trim them. Trim it with a knife so it looks flush. I don't know why, it just bothers me if I don't and or in the past I used to scratch myself on them. <laughs> so I always trim them. Another parts tree there I just kind of took out, didn't really show you guys. There you go. That's pretty neat. Those are all the gearboxes I suppose for the rear end. Gearbox pieces. To me a stamped look like battery brace I suppose. It's pretty cool. Front bumper piece I'd imagine, all that stuff. Then another one of those typical Tamiya big 
part bag of all the steel stuff and the motor and all that. Pretty cool. And this kit actually, yeah, it said on the front of it, it came with a ESC motor. There's the ESC. And, oh, look. This is the first, first kit I've bought uh, in a while that has come with, if I can get it in there, it's the TBLE025 ESC. That one you can run brushed or brushless, I learned recently from somebody else. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this says it's preset to use brush motor mode, so I don't even have to really set it up. Just plug it in and go, I would imagine. It's pretty cool. Every other ESC I've gotten is the older to me, and I don't have one handy to show you guys, but most people know what they look like. You could Google it. The TEU series, 101 to 104. Oh, sorry, 105. 104 was the last generation they switched. We'll deal with that another day. A lot more parts here. And this looks like the main carcass the main what you would call monocoque of the chassis so everything bolts to that and I, you can change the, the wheelbase for a little small medium and large I believe to suit different body cells this particular one says L on the box somewhere I saw it earlier rear bumper pieces I think and you can see the multiple holes I'm pretty sure that is for moving the chassis wheelbase around Stickers and other body, oh, the body prep, prep, blah, blah, prep uh, sheets, window masks, how to do things, <laughs> and the main manual. Look at that, that's pretty good. Awesome. Ooh, and they gave me an antenna tube too. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> cool. Well, there it is. The MO6R Beetle Kit. More to come. Stay tuned. Like, thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you later.